Hey YouTube, welcome back to Model Railroad Operations and welcome to the second layout update video of my Model Railroad, the Sierra Central Railway. So these first two images here are the testing industries in the town of Calaveritas. The first one was the Farmers Co-op and this is the Lumberyard. And in these next couple images I have started painting the track using regular spray cans of flat black rust red and gray primer and I have to say the results look pretty good certainly better than plastic on weather track and now I'm laying the foam for the elevated section of the first level weighing it down while I'm gluing it And now I'm laying the track for the town of LaGrange. And as you can see, I'm using all sorts of implements to hold it down while the glue dries. And now I'm testing out clearances for various cars for the various industries that I have on this section of the railroad. And as you can see there, that curve where those covered hoppers are on, it's pretty tight. So that industry will be one that is uh, only served by very short wheelbase rolling stock and engines. Now I'm laying the track leads for track power. And the next thing I did is I built the coal trestle for Calaveritas. This will be serving the fuel dealer in town. And as you can see in the background, there's a couple of the Sierra Central boxcars that I painted and decaled. And at this point, I've laid track on the trestle, and I'm testing out the capacities with a couple of coal hoppers. Now I'm just finishing up laying the track in LaGrange and weighing down the two tracks for the SCP Foundation. And now there's all the weights removed and the track is basically in its final shape. Although you'll see later that when I built the helixes, I had to redo both the uh, ends. And lastly, I painted a section of the wall sky blue and uh, I have to say it looks pretty good. Later on, I actually went on to paint the rest of the wall and you'll see that in the next video. So along with, of course, building the layout, uh, I had a couple of good uh, purchases of both new and used rolling stock and locomotives. Uh, purchases and trades as well. I did a big engine trade with a local model railroader in the area. But this right here is the Rapido Southern Pacific SW1200, which I got for its uh, light package. And this is just the initial out of the box test. I'm running this as engine number three, uh, you know, completely stock sound effects. And as you'll see in the next uh, video clip, I went into the CVs and changed up some of the sounds. So uh, for now, just uh, enjoy the sights and sounds of this engine out of the box. And for the second clip, I'm testing out the, uh, the uh, gyro lights. And as you could hear in the background, I decided to give this engine an Nathan P5. So that might piss off some SP fans, but, you know, in the end, I'm going to be uh, repainting this engine into a Sierra Central livery anyways. Well, I actually sent it off to another local modeler to be repainted for me. 
And uh, I'm look, really looking forward to showing that off in the future. And he's also going to be repairing the gyro lights, which were unfortunately damaged during the shipping. But that's my new Rapido SW1200. And now I am building the two helixes that will take the layout from the first level to the second level. So the first thing I had to do was rearrange the the track arrangements at both of the uh, towns and yard areas. So as you can see, that was Calaveritas, and over here I had to completely redo Lagrange. And now I'm building the helix, and I was dreading this part of the construction, as every model railroader who has built a multi-level layout can attest, but Thanks to Joey Ricard, the process was made a lot easier with his easy, lightweight helix kits. So it's just a matter of gluing the sections together and gluing the clamps and putting the risers in, and uh, the result is pretty good for my purposes. And you'll also notice that I've committed at least a few crimes as far as helix construction goes because there's not an access hole in the middle. But uh, unfortunately, the truth is, I may only be living in this house for a few more years, so if I do move to a new location, I will be cutting out select parts of the layout and creating them up and shipping them to wherever I'm going. So these helixes are really kind of the best for my purposes at this uh, current point in my life. So, uh, but now I've got track on them and and uh, wired them up, and thankfully. I managed to get pretty solid track work on both of the helixes, despite their rather flimsy appearance. Uh, admittedly, they're not the strongest things in the world, but again, for my purposes, they work just fine. And so that's both helixes built up and in place right there. And this last video clip right here is me running a test train up the West Wall helix. And happy to say that I was able to run this train at toy speeds both up and down the helix in forward and reverse so I would call these uh, I would call these a success so that's about it for this update of the Sierra Central so thank you all for watching and stay tuned for future videos on this channel hopefully I can get at least one more video in before I go back to school at the end of August uh, at that point, I'll kind of be on hiatus until my winter break comes in uh, kind of late November, December. And uh, yeah, again, thank you for joining me here. Times are a bit crazy, but hopefully, uh, you know, I'm really happy to have this layout and be working on this thing and making some good progress. So anyways, thank you all for watching and be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Model Road Operations, signing off.